Good evening. A Denver family is planning a funeral for a grandmother killed in a hit and run, but they are finding some comfort knowing a suspect has been arrested. Annette Conquering Bear was killed Tuesday as she walked near Colfax and Zenobia. CBS4 Sean Chitness talked to Annette's family today. Sean, the arrest is some welcome news as they cope with a real tragedy. Well, Jim, certainly what is making it even more of a challenge is the fact that we are just days away from Christmas, and today would have been Annette Conquering Bear's 52nd birthday. So, of course, the family is trying to celebrate her life, but as we can see here, they are still trying to process the fact that they have lost her tonight. Now, of course, they do say there is some help in knowing that an arrest has been made, and that is helping them to start the healing process. And then it just hits you like, she's, she's not going to call. Not call. Less than 48 hours after a man hit and killed Annette Conquering Bear while she was walking home from Walgreens, her son and daughter still don't believe she's gone, but they can feel her presence sitting in her apartment. She's keeping us strong because that's what she wanted us to do. Taken too soon from them, she would have turned 52 on this day, even more upsetting how close she was from being right where they are now. She was right there in front of her home. She had to walk a couple steps and she was fine. A loving mother and grandmother, she always wanted to celebrate her family, grateful for any time she got with them. A person who would literally think about everyone else but herself. She had health issues and needed a lot of medication. Her children say they find some relief knowing she is no longer in pain. She's happy where she's at. Whatever she had, she would give it up without thinking for anyone who needed it. Her children say the love she had for others and the love she got back from the community will be her legacy. She wanted you to be happy. She wanted you to go on with life. Um, she had a heart full of gold. Police tell us the man they've arrested in this case is 39-year-old Juan Sanchez. They say that he was driving a friend's car at the time of that hit and run on Tuesday night right here. The family tells us they are preparing services that will happen both here in Colorado as well as South Dakota. Reporting live tonight in Denver, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first.